Hello, this is a very quick video because it took me forever to figure out how to do this and I want to spare people from the suffering it took me. And first things first, I want to make this very clear. Everything shown is free. You can do this without payment in any way. Um, it's not that hard, but it certainly is a little annoying to figure out. First, you're going to want to obviously put your save files on a USB drive. So when you open it, you will not see any of the files except typically a text document showing that you formatted the drive. Just as long as you know that you've put the world on this flash drive, you should be fine. Just make sure you put it on the flash drive. You can probably do this via the hard drive by just plugging it into your computer, but the time I tried that, I couldn't figure out how to do it because it wouldn't mount properly. So, for there's only two, only like three programs you need for this. Um, this one's just my world files. First, you'll need Horizon, an Xbox 360 modding tool. This will allow you to go into Xbox 360 files and extract them. Obviously, you're going to want to open it. And this should pop up almost immediately. You'll want to go to Games, Minecraft, and then you'll see the world you put on it. If you don't, you'll have to go back to your 360 and put the worlds on the file. Then you, you may think, oh, just double click. No, you do not want to double-click. This is something you expressly do not want to do. You want to right-click and click Extract File because you need the bin files for this. So I'm saving it to my 360 worlds. It will tell you where you saved it. And now you can close this. This is completely useless now. You got everything you need here. Then you'll want to get a program for converting worlds. I use JE2BE. This is basically a conversion tool, perfectly free. You can also potentially do this for the PS3 edition of the game, but I'm not exactly sure how that works. Because I do not have a PS3 myself. You can convert it to Bedrock or Java. If you want to go my old, my personal route, where I went from 360 to Bedrock, then to Java, you can. But it works just fine if you bring it from 360 to, to Java. Sorry, I am misspeaking. 360 to Java works perfectly fine. Then you want to click Next, and then you're going to want to select a bin file. This is why we need the bin file. And you click Open, and it will show your account ID. And it, it will import your player ID if you have similar, if you have the same account. Considering I never had the Xbox One version of the game, I do not think it will sync, but you can, it does not matter either way. Then start. It will start converting. Okay, so now you get, once it's done, you will get conversion completed. Choose how you want to save it. You can save it into a custom folder if you'd like but I highly suggest saving it into the Minecraft Java Edition save folder. Because, you know, it will just auto-detect where it is. And now you can close this. This is no longer needed. You can now just open up Minecraft Java. I kept this open the whole time because it takes a while to boot up for me. Then you'll have the world. Um, this is using experimental settings. I think that is because it um, it went from 360 directly to Java rather than Bedrock to Java. So that is a little main reason why you'd like to do the other method. It works perfectly fine. This is an edit of a... Cr uh, I turned the world into creative before porting it over. So it'll take a moment to load. Obviously. Very annoying. Everything is exactly as it should. The only thing you won't have is your items. 
So I highly recommend putting your items in a chest. Why a chest, you may ask? Because... Sorry for the lag. I'm so sorry for the lag. The, le the items will stay in the chest. Paintings and items like that will pop off the wall. I did not double click that. Torches will stay, but items like paintings or item frames will pop off the wall, and all of your items in chests will be nudged down to slots for some reason. I have no idea why, that's just what happens. And you may think you're done here, but you are not, because if we go to the edge of the world real quick, Sorry. Slash game mode. Spectator. Just want to speed it up. Here is the issue. Here is why you need an NBT, an editor for the game. Because this is how the world will consistently load. The fuck? Oh. That's not good. Um, okay, so here's why you need to convert it to bedrock first, because if you convert it to bedrock first, this wall will be gone. I don't know why it's here, that's really weird. Yeah, I highly recommend converting it to bedrock first, because this is what happens. Converting it to bedrock first is pretty simple, you want to save it to a... In okay, I close you. <clears throat> Instead of saving it to your world files, you will just save it to your desktop or downloads. And then you can do the exact same thing, but instead of a bin file, you will just use the save file. Um, then you're going to have to open up any free program. I, I choose Amulet. And then you're going to have to reload those chunks. I won't show it because honestly it takes a while to do because you're reloading a thousand chunks. So yeah, that is all. Um, if you need to know how to actually put it on the flash drive, first of all, obviously you just gotta plug in the flash drive to your Xbox and then you can format the device. If you need to figure out how to do that though, there are plenty of simple tutorials online. Hell, even the AI overview on Google allows you to... Like, even the AI overview on Google tells you the correct steps. So, it's fairly simple. I hope this can help you. But, as I've said, convert, convert the world to... Convert the world to th from 360 to Bedrock, then from Bedrock to Java. Because if you do that, there will be an invisible wall, apparently. I did not know that. And I want to make this clear. You do not have to reload all chunks. You just have to reload every chunk outside of, your ori of the Minecraft world. That is it. You should be able to figure out the amulet tool pretty easily. It's not difficult to understand. And if you need any tutorials, there are plenty of simple tutorials that are willing to go in-depth with it. Other than that, have a good day, and I hope this works for you.